In the previous videos, we created these categories menus. So we have four categories in this blog, and each post has a category attached. And for example, when you click here on festivals, all the posts that are under the category festivals are going to be filtered by WordPress. So all the heavy lifting is going to be done for you. That's something really cool about WordPress. But if I scroll to the top, you can see it's printing blog. So we're using the index.php. And if I open the, the theme hierarchy, here on the top, you can see we have the archive page. And you can see we have author, archive, category archive, custom post type, custom taxonomy, date, and tag. We're interested in the category archive. And you can see that you can name your category with the category dash slug, the name of the category, that PHP. Then a category with the ID, that will be the number. And also you can create a category that PHP or an archive that PHP. So in this video, we're going to create a category that PHP. So I'm going to create a new file category that PHP. And that's the way that you can continue adding more and more and more files to your WordPress site. And I'm going to copy everything from the index, paste right here, change the header since we don't need that header. And I'm going to reload my content. It's going to be the same. The only thing is, the only thing is different is printing the, the image because we removed the header. But here I want to print the current category. So I'm going to open Atom again. I'm going to open the header that PHP. Here I'm going to scroll to the bottom. And here we have if is front page, print the description. Else prints the title. I'm going to create another uh, else if. And here I'm going to create a PHP. And we're going to create an else if. And the condition that we're looking for is is category. And here I can copy this. But instead of printing the title, I want to print and I'm going to look for the function called the archive title. And I'm going to remove this. So this is a function. So let's save this. And I'm going to add something like this. This is the final code. This. Save this and reload. And you can see it says category festivals. If you, if you don't want the category text, you can print single cat title. And I'm going to remove this again. Reload. And you can see we only have festivals. So single cat, cat title will only print, print this title. The archive title will print category and then the name of the category. So it's up to you what version do you like best. So you can see it's just looking really cool. And now our website is almost ready. So let's give a final touches in the next video. So see you there.